Hi everyone. Um, I haven't prepared anything, so I'm just going to wing this. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of people on the island. I've never been here before, but I've still got a lot of people left to talk to. Um, but the most exciting thing is that we have engaged three people on island to help with this drought support coordinator role. So if I can get two of the ladies to come up, they're here today. Most of you would know both of these ladies. So Deb is going to be working on island full time um, until the middle of June and Steph is going to be doing one day a week. And we also have Abby Lewis joining us for one day a week. So I'm pretty confident with the three of them and me backing them up that we should be able to help with all of your needs. Um, what we would like to know is what you actually need. Um, so I've been making calls, reaching out, asking people how they're situated in terms of stock, what their plans are in terms of destocking, what issues they're having with that, and I've heard a lot of stories. Um, how they're going in terms of fodder that they have on farm, if they've got any left, whether they've been buying feed in, whether they can buy feed in or can't, whether they're buying fertiliser, what their sense of urgency is in terms of getting assistance. The Lions Club have been working extremely hard um, in getting feed on island as well, and I'll be working with that team uh, to help with the logistics of that. And these ladies will be helping as well. Um, but in the meantime, they're going to be your on-island points of contact. Don't hesitate to call me, email me, I'm still be working on this. Um, I'm more than happy to help, but these girls are able to, well, ladies are able to provide face-to-face -face help as well. So I really want to emphasise the privacy aspect. Steph and I were talking about that earlier. So obviously we're both locals, we live here, we're part of the community. So anything that says that's been said to us when we're on farm remains confidential. Now obviously we'll feed data up the system, but if you need to talk and you need to explain different things, be assured that the, that confidentiality will, is critical. And initially we'll be doing a whole heap of farm visits and collecting data, so we're really after the data so that we can actually advocate and be that point of contact and make sure that we know who's who and what's going on. So um, expect that we're out looking for data. Now we had hoped to be able to get all the pick numbers on the island and be able to get that data of contacts. At the moment we've got a range of spreadsheets or a spreadsheet that Jack's put together. So please make sure that you're feeding in contacts if we don't pick them up. Like obviously between us we'll pick a few up, but try and make sure that you're feeding contact details and you know, is there a farm that we've missed? All of those sorts of things. Or if you know that there's someone that's struggling, please let us know. Um, anything else you want to add? Not really. Not really. <laughs> and for those that don't know what TAS farmers do, we're not a government organisation as such. We're a membership um, organisation, so we work on advocacy in the ag space. So we are here to represent farmers and tell government what you need and help deliver that.